Good morning, Facebook fam. Gotta love my in-car videos. That just means that I am doing too many things at once. Um, I actually been wanting, have been wanting to do this video for a minute, and I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. Um, last week, and, and I kind of feel like I'm a little late, but last week I did a... Um, a hashtag boycott roots and I got a couple of questions as to why I was boycotting um, on different you know uh, faces on my um, uh, social media pages and um, I've wanted to come on to just do a quick video response to why um, I was boycotting roots and I'm and as I think about it I probably should have said hashtag boycotting roots to kind of let you guys know what I was doing and not that I was actually calling for a call of action or anything or you know trying to encourage anyone to do the same um, I just decided for myself that that wasn't something that I wanted to um, uh, spend my time or my energy on and the reason is uh, if you guys remember a few weeks ago I did a video um, uh, let me tell you why I'm mad kind of video and one of the last points that I shared was the whole idea of um, you know these these uh, slave movies and I think I mentioned Roots specifically um, because it was something that I had seen that was telling me that Roots the remake was coming out and as I thought about it you know I like I said I wanted to do this video last week but things you know just just it just didn't have time to do it but I did want to respond so I want to make it really quick um, like I said it was me for, for um, boycotting Roots not that I was calling for a mass you know uh, revolution you know to boycott a movie um, for me you know, one of the first questions I got was, you know, why? And my response was because I, it doesn't have any power in it. Um, and that's for me. I think for anybody, anything that I do, and I hope that you are the same. I hope that most people are the same. Um, anything that I give my attention or my energy to, to uh, specifically, um, if it's something that I'm either watching or reading or anything that I kind of give my time to um, in that way, um, I do it because it either is entertaining, um, it is uh, educating, it is um, empowering or it is, um, or I guess edifying, you know, it's the same as kind of empower, empowering. Um, but if it's none of those things, then, you know, I'm not going to give my time to it. Now, you're right. I could have just, or not you're right, but I'm thinking in my head. Um, I could have just not watched it and not made a big, you know, to do about it. Um, but I wanted to come, you know, I wanted to say, hey, I, I felt more um compelled to say boycott roots um hashtag boycott roots because i wanted people to think i think sometimes we spend so much time doing stuff without thinking about why we do it and 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 i think something like a remake of a movie that's already been done um to remake it and i'm not going to get into the deep thoughts that i have about it um since you know the the movie um but i will just say this you know to remake something you know, and some people say it's it's kind of a traditional thing, but I would say the opposite. I think when something is done and it was done well and it was done for a specific purpose, like, you know, Gone with the Wind, you know, something like that, um, it's not remade. So I don't understand uh, why they would feel the need to remake a movie um, that's already been done. That's first and foremost. But, you know, not to get into any of, you know, any of those other underlining um, issues that I had with it. I think at the end of the day, if it wasn't something that was educational, and it wasn't for me because I've seen the story. I've heard the story um, in various ways. Um, and if it wasn't something that was empowering and it wasn't for me, I think that we're in such a racial climate right now. And the tensions are so high and there's so many things that's going on culturally um, that are racially um, motivated that I think uh, to give time and attention to the airwaves or something like that um, would only fuel that um, that maybe anger or uh disconnect or whatever it is um and then uh and and and, it, and and i certainly wouldn't watch it for entertaining purposes um that's not something that you know that i i, I find entertaining um and then <clears throat> one last point i'll say uh actually I'll, I'll say one last point and then one observation comment on the observation that i had my last point is that um you know so i, I mentioned that i would be watching nat turner in fact i'm so excited about the nat turner movie i can't even contain myself i um, I'm really looking forward to that. And you may ask why. And, and, and the reason is, and I'm going to talk quickly because I don't want to make this too long. The reason I'm looking forward to the Nat Turn Turner movie is because it's not been done in this way um, that I'm anticipating um, before. And so I'm excited to see a movie about Nat Turner. Um, and for me, it, it is more about the uh, 
the uh, the spiritual aspects of it, the fact that he was a minister and that uh, his slave owner wanted him to control the other slaves through the word of God and to see that the word of God was what caused the revolution in him. I'm super excited to hear about that. So I'm, I'm there for Nat Turner um, all day. Um, and then lastly, the observation that I have, there was some commentary about people who chose to boycott roots uh, suggesting that, you know, these people in some kind of way were um, embarrassed by their history or some kind of way, um, uneducated and, you know, all these different things. And I think at the end of the day, you know, what we're talking about here is perspective. You know, what is entertainment to one person is not entertaining to another. What is empowering to one person is not empowering to another. And what offers an opportunity for education for one doesn't offer an opportunity for education for another. And um, someone, you know, may say, well, you can watch anything and learn something from it. And you're absolutely right. Had I took the time to watch it, I may have learned something from it. But um, going into it, it wasn't something that I felt like I needed to get a lesson from. And, uh, and, and I think I read enough about African American history. I read enough about American history. I read enough about, um, you know, black empowerment that I, I think whatever lesson I could have got from that, I, I could get from anywhere else. So that is my quick, really in a nutshell, why I, uh, I chose to boycott Root. So if you guys seen it and you thought it was awesome, and I think, I'm going to say this real quick because I've heard some feedback from it and don't share with me that the actors were good. Uh, don't share with me that, um, you know, that that technology has improved in such a way that now, you know, it made for a better picture. Um, don't share with me that the fact that people thought that uh, the character who played Chicken George was more like the real character, because these are some this is some of the feedback that I've heard. I've not heard anything um, that made me regret not watching it. So if you had a different perspective, please do share it, you know, comment on this video video, whatever. Um, but those are the reasons why I chose not to watch Root. So blessings to you guys. Thanks for letting me interrupt your day. And until next time, blessings.